The next grammar point is causatives. Causative is the verb that causes someone to perform an action. In English, you can say to make someone do or to have someone do. We have come across the verb padhana. It means to teach. In fact, it means to make someone study. Padhana is a causative of padhana to study. Both verbs come from the same root. Padhana means to make someone study, which could be to teach or to finance someone's studies or to send someone to school. Hindi also has the causative too. The causative too here will be padhana. It literally means to cause someone to be taught by somebody else. The meaning of the causative to Padhana is subtle, but in many cases, the difference between causative 1 and causative 2 is very clear. So, Padhana is to study, Padhana is causative 1, and it means to cause someone to study or to teach, and Padhana is causative 2, and it means to cause someone to be taught by someone else. Similarly, Likhana is to write, Likhana is causative 1, that means to cause someone to write or to dictate, and likhwana is causative too, that means to cause something to be written by someone. Let's take some set of causatives. Utna to get up, to rise. Uthana to wake someone up, to lift. Uthwana to cause something to be lifted by someone. Jalna to burn as in to be on fire. Jalana to burn something and jalwana is to cause something to be burned. Banna to become, banana to make and banwana to cause something to become. A few more. Pakna is to cook as to be cooked. Pakana is to cook something and pakwana is to make something be cooked by someone. Sunna is to hear. Sunana is to tell, to narrate. Sunwana is to make something be narrated by someone. And finally, nikalna is to come out, nikalna is to take out, to throw out, and nikalvana is to make something or someone taken out by someone else. Let's now take some sentences with causatives. The first set of causatives is jalna, jalana, and jalvana. To burn, to burn something, to cause something to burn. Khana jal gaya. The food got burned. Meri behen ne khana jala diya. My sister burned the food. Bachon ke shor ne khana jalwa diya. The children's noise made the food get burnt. Usually in the second causative, the agent is not mentioned. It is understood from the context. In this case, it is behen, sister. The next set is sunna, sunana and sunwana. Sunna is to hear. Sunana is to make listen, which could be to narrate or to sing. And Sunwana is to have something narrated or sung. Ye gana suno. Listen to this song. Bete ne hamko ek gana sunaya. Our son sang us a song. Literally, he made us hear a song. Pitaji ne bachon se ek gana sunwaya. Father had the children sing a song. The next set is Banna to become, Banana to make, and Banwana to have made. Ye bahut sundar ghar banega. This will become a very good house. In Mazduro ne hamara ghar banaya. These labors built our house. Shah Jahan ne Taj Mahal banwaya. Shah Jahan ne 20,000 Mazduro se Taj Mahal banwaya. Shah Jahan had the Taj Mahal built by 20,000 labors. The last one is Nikalna to come out. Nikalna to take out. And Nikalwana to have taken out. Mera kharaab daant nikal gaya. My bad tooth came out. Doctor ne mera kharaab daant nikala. The doctor took my bad tooth out. Mene aspatal me apna kharab daant nikalwaya. I had my bad tooth taken out in the hospital. In the second causative example, the agent, the doctor, is not necessary for the context. It is understood, so usually it is not uttered.